Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is very special because we are gonna be making something in celebration of National Coffee Day. That's right, one of my favorite food holidays is right around the corner. It's like in a couple of days, and I thought, what better way to celebrate than to try three very trendy viral coffee recipes. Now, without further ado, let's try some viral coffee recipes. Let's get started. The first recipe that we're gonna try is the brown sugar oat milk shaken espresso. Now this drink is a very popular drink that is served at a very trendy coffee chain, one of my favorite. But this has become so popular because this recipe is the at-home version. I've actually tried this recipe at the popular coffee chain, so I cannot wait to give it a go at home and see if it's as good. First step, we are going to combine a couple of ingredients into this cute little mason jar. We're gonna add two teaspoons of brown sugar, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and then two espresso shots. You can use two to three. Um, my machine makes two large. Woo! It's nice and hot, smells delicious. We're gonna pop the lid on. Make sure it's nice and tight. You do not want this flying around. And this is the fun part. This is where you shake it. Just like the name of the drink, ready? Oh, what, 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 what. You're gonna shake it up until it dissolves. I might do it a little longer because I like to dance. This is looking good. Then we're just gonna set it down right here and froth our oat milk. So I've got a little bit of oat milk and a little frother over here. I plugged it in. <laughs> I'm one years old and it made a little fart noise and made me laugh. Okay, I'm gonna pour it in this little frother. And if any of you watching this have not tried oat milk, you're missing out. It's delicious. Okay, I'm gonna pop this lid on, turn it on, and we're just gonna let it do its thing. At home, if you don't have a frother, there's a couple things you could do. You can heat your oat milk on the stove or in the microwave and then whisk together either by hand or if you have an electric hand mixer, that will work fine too. I think you can even use a blender. Anything that's just gonna move it around quickly and heat the milk. Ding! We're done. Okay, perfect. Let's see what we got. Oh, ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Look at all the froth, look at all the froth. Oh, this is so fancy. I feel like I am a barista. Now we've got everything we need. We're gonna put it all together. We're gonna pour this delicious sweet espresso over a glass full of ice. Oh yeah. So far, this is looking just like the videos that I've seen online. Then we're gonna pour this on top. Oh. Oh my gosh, you guys, it looks just like the drink. And then when the froth just like slowly goes to the bottom and like the color, oh, <laughs> it's gorgeous. And there you have it. We have made a brown sugar oat milk shaken espresso. The homemade version of a very popular drink at a very popular chain. Let's try it. Oh, oh my gosh, it's good, oh, it's good. Oh, oh, okay. It tastes just like the one I get at the store, maybe even better because it's so fresh. Okay, this drink is a win. Hello, coffee lovers. This is a great recipe. I'm gonna highly recommend it. I'm gonna give it two thumbs up. This is so good, and I'm even gonna recommend it for fall. With the brown sugar and the cinnamon, it's just cozy, cozy, delicious vibes. Mm. Mm, cheers! Now on to the next recipe. The next coffee recipe that we're gonna try is one that may be perfect for breakfast. I am someone who has a cup of coffee every morning and this recipe may be my coffee and my breakfast combined. So we are gonna try to make cinnamon cereal hot coffee. Little breakfast, little coffee, we're basically gonna combine them in a delicious way. So for this recipe, you're gonna start with some regular drip coffee. Fill your cup about three quarters full. Now we're just gonna add a few more ingredients to really make it more sweet and give it that cinnamon cereal taste. I love spiced coffees, they're so delicious. So we're just gonna put a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of nutmeg, and a little splash of vanilla extract. I'm basically adding fall into a cup of coffee. In the recipe, this is where you're gonna take your spoon, mix in the spices to your hot coffee. Once these spices are mixed into the hot coffee, we are gonna add caramel 
creamer. The internet says that this is the key to get it taste really like cinnamon cereal. So it's just a creamer that's flavored with caramel. I got this at the store. They had them at a bunch of different grocery stores. I'm just gonna add a little bit to my coffee. Whoop, little splash, mix it around. It smells so good. Now here's the fun part. You're gonna top it with a little bit of whipped cream and our cinnamon cereal. Oh my gosh, I love it. This is way more cereal than they put on in the, all the videos and pictures, but I really love this cereal. I'm truly treating it like this is my breakfast and coffee combined. So for me, this is it. I mean, I need a spoon to eat this. And there you have it, cinnamon cereal hot coffee. Look at this, have a little breakfast. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna take a sip, a little bit of coffee. It tastes like the cereal milk, like the milk that's left over in the bowl when you're having, oh, um, Oh my gosh, this is a treat. I think this recipe was a win because it actually tastes like cinnamon cereal. I think it's a really cool idea. It is very sweet. I will warn people, it's a, it's a sweet treat, but it was good. So if you're looking for a fun new recipe to try for a National Coffee Day, we already have two winners, but now we are gonna try, I don't wanna say the weirdest recipe that has caught my eye, but it's just very unique. But because it's so unique, I'm also concerned that maybe it won't work. But let's give it a go. Let's try our third coffee recipe. The last recipe that we're gonna be trying is coffee jelly whipped latte. And the first thing that we have to make is the coffee jelly. I've never done this before. I'm so excited. In all the pictures, it kind of looks the weirdest, but I've heard it's incredible. I heard it tastes good. So I'm excited to get started. The first thing that we're going to do is bloom our gelatin. So here I have one packet of unflavored gelatin. I'm just going to pour it into two tablespoons of cold water. Mix together with a small spatula. Once mixed, you're just going to let it sit off to the side, allow the gelatin to bloom. The next step, you're going to need two cups of strong coffee and three tablespoons of sugar and your bloom gelatin. And we're going to take these ingredients and head over to the stove. Now over on the stove, you're going to take a medium sized saucepan and we're going to combine our three ingredients over like a medium high heat and bring to a boil. So add your two cups of coffee, three tablespoons of sugar and your bloom gelatin. Look at that. It's all sticking together nice and bloomed. Boop. Then whisk together and bring to a boil. Once boiling, you're gonna remove the pan from the heat and pour your coffee jelly into a casserole dish. I'm gonna let it cool for just a minute, then I'm gonna pop this dish in the fridge, allow it to set for about eight hours. Our coffee jelly is out of the fridge, it has set, and now I'm gonna cut it into cubes. I would advise if you're making this recipe to make this the day before, so make this first, pop it in the fridge, and then the next morning, you can try it for breakfast. I've never cut coffee jelly before. I've got a sharp cutting knife and the goal here is to cut very small squares. So small that they would fit like through a boba straw because we're basically gonna make a bunch. All right, I'm just gonna eyeball it. In all the videos that I've seen, they just go for it. There's not really any measuring. And then the other half, see how I'm doing here. So here's the boba straw and it's pretty thick. Got my little spoon and in all the videos that I've seen, they make some cuts and then they scoop out. See how they, oh, I did it. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, awesome. This is ready. I'm gonna set this off to the side while I make my whipped coffee. For the whipped coffee part of this recipe, I am very familiar. It's basically the Dalgona coffee recipe and it is delicious and it's super simple. So in a medium bowl, you're just gonna combine two tablespoons of hot water. I just popped this into the microwave so it's nice and hot. Two tablespoons of instant coffee and two tablespoons of sugar. Then whisk together till well combined, nice and fluffy. I like to use an electric hand mixer, but if you don't have an electric hand mixer, you can do it by hand with a whisk, but you're really gonna be sweating. You gotta move fast. While you're mixing, make little circles and you're going to mix for about two minutes. Woo, there we go. Look at that beautiful whipped coffee. Gorgeous. All right, so I've scooped about a third of our coffee jelly into a cup. Then we're gonna do a third of ice. 
Then fill your glass about one third of oat milk. I'm just gonna eyeball it. Now we're gonna top it off with the whipped coffee. Oh, look at that delicious fluff right there. <laughs> oh, yummy, yummy. I feel like a barista. I need an apron. Hi, thanks for coming to my coffee place. I'm gonna spell all of your names wrong, but I make a mean coffee, so you'll forgive me. Da da! Here's the moment of truth. We have just made the coffee jelly whipped latte. And now I'm gonna give it a taste. I've got a big boba straw so I can mix this together. Oh my gosh. I mean, I don't even know if I can. Oh, <laughs> maybe I filled it too much. No, you know, can you fill coffee cup too full? I think not. I almost feel bad mixing it because it's so pretty. Look at the chunks in there. They look so cool. Okay, now I've got to have a taste. It tastes really good, but the texture is so different to me, it's kind of like weirding me out a little bit. Because usually when I have a coffee, I'll have it with tapioca balls, like boba, and it's a little bit more firm. This is a little softer. I'll have to have another sip, just try it out. Oh! <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't know. This recipe has me so conflicted because I love the taste, the texture is just not for me. I've never had jelly in my coffees. I've had boba, which it's just, a di it's so different. I thought it would be similar, but it's too soft. If you love jello and you'd want to eat it anywhere, like this, go ahead. This might be your favorite drink, but for me, Oh, I'm so disappointed because look how cool it looks. This is the coolest looking coffee drink I have probably made ever. It looks awesome. I hate to do this, but I'm gonna give this one for me personally a fail. It's, it's split in my heart taste-wise. It tastes good, but the texture, I just can't do it. Molly, did you try one of these? Mm -hmm. What did you feel about it? Meh. Same? Meh. Oh, <gasps> it is weird. Your texture. Everybody's hyping this up and I'm like, I want to love you. I just don't. It's not you, it's me. Okay, you can just go over here. Mm -mm. Bye bye. All right, that is it for all of the recipes that we're testing today. I had so much fun trying these trendy coffee recipes. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you guys try them out for National Coffee Day, which is coming up. If you guys try any of the recipes that you saw here today, don't forget to take a picture and when you upload it, use the hashtag row recipe so that I can find it and I can heart it and favorite it and like it. I love seeing your baking and food creations. It just makes me happy. It makes my day. And if you have any other ideas for any other videos you'd like to see, let me know. Leave me a comment down below and I will do my best to make it happen. Also, if you like watching this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, it's free, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. Thanks for watching, you guys, and happy National Coffee Day. Bye-bye. <laughs> and if you'd like to watch any other videos, you can click up here or up here. <laughs> I've had three coffees. Bye.